on D-Day and he was awarded France's top military honour. But due to pandemic restrictions, Jim was unable to hug his 94-year-old wife, Rita. He hadn't been able to do it since July and passed away in his care home this month. Well, we are joined by Rita and by his daughter, Carenza Wellsby. Um, I'm so sorry, all of us, so sorry for your loss. Um, Rita, it must have been hard not to hug your husband since July. Yep. Yes, it was hard. That was the hardest bit. I felt in a way that I lost him when he went into the home. How long has he been uh, in the home? We went in in July, so, um, which was also really hard, trying to uh, find an appropriate care home in the middle of a pandemic because we couldn't uh, go in and have a look at the care homes. Uh, so, but sadly, we had to um, go in in July, and that was uh, the last time. He goes into the care home, and that effectively is, is literally the last time you can be physically close to him. I'll tell you something, I'll say something controversial. Yeah, there's loads of care homes out there that are keeping people alive longer than they should have been just for the money. We all know that, you know, sucking in and everything. The the, the lady there on, on the left, as you look at the screen, uh, the wife of the gentleman, he uh, went in there in July and that's when she felt like she lost him. And uh, without, say, the, over, I mean, the guy, gentleman, 102, respect to the guy. Yeah, 102. If I died of COVID at 102, I'd be laughing my tits off just before I, I died because I got us 102. The re people that what I'm not having a go at the folks, obviously, is the best in peace, the gentlemen. It's the way the uh, they dramatise it all on TV to make a story out of it and all this sort of stuff. And they've attached uh, COVID to it. Yeah. Every <laughs> And, it, and it's, uh, I mean, the average death is 84 years old, 82, 84. Like I think some say it's 84, some say it's 82. It's written down slightly differently. It's all slightly different, isn't it, everybody? You can't be slightly different in a, in a virus pandemic situation because you die. But anyway, there's all slight differences on everything right now. The drills and personal drills of decontamination. Everything goes on and on. What I'm saying is, is the media are making like fairy tale story books like uh, they used to have on the, the BBC radio years ago, years ago in the 80s. This music used to come on, I'll try and find it and whap it on. And then the guy who used to uh, he used to talk about other people's sad stories and then they used to put a record to it. Yeah. And that's what they're doing. And they shouldn't do this stuff whilst there's a pandemic on anyway but this is how they collect their preset type of history so whenever he looks back at it they'll have all the all the pages to turn over and get people you know apparently together yeah they're telling you they're doing but in the meantime the agenda behind everything is dividing you all apart with diversity uh, gender bending uh, to people under 16 and also normalization of pedophilia yeah that jimmy savile in this thing if anything was a little diver so you all think that's died but he's in the whole industry it's the concept of what he was like it's still rife in the industry it's like a drug dealer if you get a drug dealer the drug dealer you know gets locked away or dies Instantly, somebody takes over, and that's what they've done in the media. Yeah, we're going to create one big, stupid fairy tale blag of diver while you're all stretched in fear and emotions, which creates and can create a blinkered society through lack of knowledge when it settles down to then, then think, Well, we're all still here. We'll We'll keep on believing everything that comes out of the media and so on and so on and so on. That's how you get controlled. It is like that, by the way. Yeah. It's got to wake up to it. Otherwise, you'll sort of have the rug pulled under your feet and you'll lose your sense of uh, who you are. And then when you lose your sense of who you are, guess what gets more normalised, everybody? Because it's not this. This is actually happening at this present moment in time. 
is what they're doing. So the more blinkered you stay, yeah, the more control they'll have after this COVID of stretched emotions and the psychabilities of diff it, do your flipping head in. Yeah, and that's what they're trying to do. Get all buzzing around like little bees to then settle. I don't know how they buzz you around. Yeah. Just to get all buzzing around then settle you down with the order that they give. Right. Even in, uh, what do you call it, other countries, the reason why we have different high rates and all that sort of stuff is because as an island, right, we've been uh, manipulated and fear-driven because fear does create control. We've been manipulated and fear-driven in a different way than say Europe so they'll have to have all their borders closed with what they do and how they do their you know European thing to do with this COVID right and it all balances out to how you think they'd do it, it seems quite cliche you know Sweden all that lot quite casual about it and now they're not you know all these little hives that keep buzzing about of information that creates the panic around the area we've had a slightly different one because we're in an island a powerful country within an island, so there's a lot of pressure. We get being manipulated like buggery through fear and all that sort of stuff happened for years. But it's slightly different. So that's why our figures will be slightly different because we have to blink in, you know, put put the knife in the back a bit more to get them shifted with fear because we're so blinking, you know, used to it. Yeah. So <laughs> and so they're you know gonna have uh Figures that will, you know, accommodate what is needed to keep you guys in fear. Right now, you can think, well, fair enough, we all need control because when there's a lot of people get together, they need control to, you know, to get the best out of everybody for the best of the country. Yeah, fair enough to a point, don't get me wrong. But when they start pissed about with morals and small children and children under 16 years of old to put them on a blinking, gender bending, blinking path of possible death by the age of 37. Yeah, 60% death rate by 37, everybody, things like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's manipulation in the wrong order. And that's where the agenda and these buggers on the TV and all their little blinking control freaks are thinking they're God. Think they are God. Yeah. Pathetic.